Good morning, guys. It is a cold morning here on Lake Gunnersville. Out here today, though, with the man, Gene Jensen. We're back at it. With the sun behind me. That's right. That's right. He's a silhouette. <laughs> and we're going to go try and catch him today. He's got a big tournament coming up. But he's already got a game plan to get out of the sun so you guys can see. Yeah, he's got a spot. He's ready to go. And we're just going to go fun fishing today. He's kind of taking a break. You've been out here for what? A while pre-fishing? A month and a half. A month and a half. So, he, he's been fishing a little bit. He knows this lake. We're out here with Scout too. How you doing, Scout? See it? Sit it for the viewers. You guys got to subscribe for Scout. He's going to be with us today, sniffing out the fish. We're going to go try and find some of these fall bass. We're going to be doing some fall bass fishing. Uh, Gene's got a chatterbait on. We're going to go up shallow looking for him. We might look for a few deep fish here real quick before we get started and i don't know just see see what what they're doing it's been tough the elites kind of struggled out here and i don't know it can be a grind in the fall it can also be really good there's a ton of fish in this lake so we're going to get at them hopefully catch a few good ones let's go Watching my lure fall to them, they're right under us. Some of them. Oh, one's chasing it. Oh my gosh, they just chased it up, Gene. <laughs> my drop shot. They didn't want it though. Two of them chased it up, an 18 foot right really? here, right here. No. The majority of them are straight this way. Cause we we grabbed over them and I sat at the end of it. So there's a few up here, but most of them are. Did you? I'm switching my drop shot worm. Yeah, I lifted it up off the bottom and two big marks went right towards it, and then they didn't need it. <laughs> Downside to live scope is you may or may not waste time. Yeah. Yeah, I told you the story about the uh, uh, the octopus, right? Um. Probably. Yes. So I used to have the octopus camera, and I would drop it down with a drop shot and watch fish swim up to the drop shot and then swim away. Giant. I sold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't need to know that. <laughs> it doesn't help me in any way. <laughs> no. For real. That's hilarious. <laughs> You just drop it down where you're fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see if they were there or not. You got one already? Nice. Hooked up. Look at that. First fish of the morning. Yeah. Take that, you elite guys. Good one, Gene. And this is the only tube I brought. <laughs> Man, I go back to the truck. Uh, that's awesome. Fishing a little point. Yeah, a little 14 incher. Good work. That's the way to start it. Really? <laughs> oh, how many hours? But weird. <laughs> Something just ate my weight, bro. It ate my weight. Yeah. They're sitting here pecking my weight right now. I'm li lifting it up and they're chasing it, eating my weight. See what happens. See? Yeah. They're following it all up. They're right below us. Just drop it right there. Look, look at him, look at him. They went nuts when you did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did he come off? What the heck? <laughs> they would not eat my drop shot, guys. <laughs> what a way to start the day. We're sitting here watching them below us on live scope. <laughs> we can't show this bait because people in the south don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they want something falling slower, man. I guess. Uh, I gotta take my, my drop shot off or something. Wow. Dude. Good work. <laughs> good work. Oh, Scout! I got Scout's foot. <laughs> Scout goes getting so excited, he's getting right in between us. I'll be able to get the hooks at stuff. 
Oh yeah, that was a perfect one. Dude, I told you they were fast. <laughs> you okay? You okay? Just gotta yeah. get right up in our business. I didn't put all my weight on your foot. No. Got him. Back to back. <laughs> <laughs> he got off. He got off. Look at that. that better. I know. Check that out, guys. 16 incher. 16 incher. Back to back. Gene had to fire him up with that tube. They wouldn't hit my drop shot. First drop back down after you caught that one. Yeah. Back to back. Sweet. See you, buddy. So there is one guy is going to probably borrow my boat this thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but he's part of the family, so. There he is. What? Giant white bass. <laughs> <laughs> Giant. That's what we're going for. Yep. Right there. Yep. That's what these largies are eating right there, actually. When you get around little white bass, this will, this might be a strike. When you get around these little ones, little white bass, yellow bass, the largies, the big largies are not far behind. They love those. Because they travel in big schools, and the big largies can just get them a big old snack. <laughs> Yeah. But I got when one. I was a, when I was 19. When I was, <laughs> was that a spot? Yeah, or? there's a there's a uh, white bass. stripe. They had to have. Got it. Oh, some shad just spooked out. There's one. There you go, bro. Yep. Pull us down. Maybe. Yeah. Dude, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a solid fish. Look at that. Crushed him. Come on. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Check that out, guys. On my signature spinner bait, Andrew right there. Fish, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's see, buddy. Nice. Is it lighter wire or what? Yeah, yeah, piano wire. This is light wire. Yeah, really, really light wire. It was good for about four bass, and then it was gone. That's how this one kind of is. They vibrate so well, though. Yep. We're about to change it to where the hook or the line tie. Is twisted so it takes all the stress off of it because um, it's not right now and huh yeah 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 and it's called a finesse spinner bait Nordby's finesse spinner bait but I do and we just came out with the chatter bait that he's gonna sell for $2.99 it's like a jackhammer except it darts more yeah, it's it's not out yet, but here here's what it's gonna look like. It's called the Sidewinder, mm -hmm. and it's it's money. It it darts so well, huh? I like it. That right there, the Sidewinder. So that's all. Awesome. He he wants to launch him at two ninety nine. Which is nuts. That is pretty nuts. And I think he said he's going to donate a dollar to my favorite charity for the first sale for every spinner bait or every chatter bait we sell. Yeah. Dude, I need some light wire spinner bait. Dude, he would. I love it. He would. He's a great guy. I've been with him for eight years. Wow. He makes the wired jigs I use mm -hmm. and he makes a really good underspin and he makes the only umbrella rigs I use they're called mo rigs no idea why but that just blew up on that cast that was Mr. yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one? Nice. 
You want the net? Alright. Sitting here rat nesting. Jean's over here catching one. Nice. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, get it. Actually, I'm on here. I'll both. Here, I'll get him. Look at that. <laughs> Stud. He's skinny, though. Yeah, yeah. Skinny, but that's a good one. Yep. If he wasn't so skinny, he'd be four. Yeah. But I don't think he is. Good job, Gene. I was getting out of rat nest. And they're taking everything, which is nice. The boxes, the bottles. Oh, smoked. That's fighting like a catfish, man. It is a catfish, man. <laughs> I said smoked. Oh my. This is the this is what we've been doing lately. At least one a day. Catmaster. Nordby. Yeah. Nordby the catmaster. There we go. I'm allergic to them too, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. House cats, house cats. Noah's daddy. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Little channel. He is not croaking like they normally do, though. Not sure why. Oh, there it goes. Uh, uh, uh. Another one on the spinnerbait. All right, we are just getting done. Gene's been keeping his boat or his kayaks here at the venue while we've been rehabbing it. So, it is coming along. I'll show you guys what we're doing here in a minute. How far we've come. We got the outdoor wedding venue ready to rent. We have the bridal room completely done. So we're closing that off. When you rent the lodge, you're not gonna be able to go in the bridal room because it's fully set up with mirrors and, and everything. But we, we also got a big old sectional couch that's in the living room too. But anyways, I had a fun time fishing with you, Gene. I did too, man. Let me get my whoobie, hold on. Yeah, man. you're good. Whoobie? This is what I, my kids call it my whoobie. A whoobie. Because I don't go anywhere without it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. There's a little Yeti, is that a Yeti? Yeah, it's a Yeti. A whoopie. I've never heard of it's that. It's the only thing Yeti I've ever bought. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Those are my favorite though. I lost mine, fell out of my boat one time. Oh yeah. But we caught them pretty good for the two, two and a half hours yeah, we I mean, out there. Yeah, watching the elite guys fish the last few days, you'd think, it, we thought it was going to be a lot tougher than what it really we was. We did. Thought it was going to be really tough. We yeah. got out there, we found a few fish on the ledge that are finicky. They hit the tube, then they hit the drop shot, caught a few whites, then we went shallow, mm -hmm. caught a couple on spinner bait, a couple on chatter bait. Had a good time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Lot of it fun. was. That, that ledge bite, you know, it kind of reminds me, once you can get one bite, if you got a school of fish, no matter how small or big it is, yeah. you get one bite and get them fired up, you can drop back down on them with anything. Yeah. You catch another one, two or three, maybe four more, and if it's a big school, you can just have a good old you time. You sure can, so. and we, we knew they were right there because of the live scope, so it yep. gave us the confidence to keep after them a little bit longer. Yep. But hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Subscribe to Gene's channel, Fluke Master. Link below if you're not. You probably already are, but we're going to get out here for the day. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's go check out uh, the last updates we've made to the lodge. Okay, guys. We got our grill set up. The deck is all done. I don't think I've shown you this, but we did take out those trees that were there, replace those boards. We got landscaping done. We put black mulch, the leaves are on it now. We got flowers, we got black mulch around this fountain project we're about to do. Um, black mulch along this whole thing. And then you come down here. This is where the outdoor wedding venue is at. So we built benches we built 40 different benches and they go right out here just past these two trees you can see the arbor set up scout come here and enough seating for 150 people got the whole place looking good i'm going to show you these benches real quick inside the garage we've been working on unlock it here but man it's been a project it's been fun There you go. There's all the benches, guys. Ton of them. We have to stain them still, but they're ready to go. Cody and I, we built all those. So, there's a bunch stacked together. Come inside our lodge here. We got a table for 10. We got our living room set up. We got another table for four. We got a big sectional ready to go. 
Another futon you can pull out and sleep on. Then I'm not sure we ever showed you the bunk setup we got going on, but check that out. We got double bunks in here. Dog bed if you bring your pup, you can do that. And in the master room, we added a third bed. So we got a queen right here. Somebody just checked out. They've been sleeping in it, so I'm about to clean it. But uh, another bed and another bed. So I just showed up at the lodge here. People checked out this morning. I was fishing, waiting on them to check out. My wife's actually doing wedding hair and makeup at another wedding. So I have to clean the, the whole lodge today. And they left it in pretty good shape. You, you saw it. So we got some, some sheets to clean on all these beds, some comforters to clean. It's a lot of laundry, a lot of washing, washing uh, towels and uh, everything like that. So it's fun to run, but it's a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. But I'm going to get out of here for the day. Hope you enjoyed. God bless you. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.